The Department of Correction says the city's jails are seeing some signs of improvement in the use of force, but justice advocates say that the change is not enough. All right, Lisa Everest here now with the new details and how the Corrections Officers Union is responding. Lisa. Well, Stephen Laurie, nearly three months after Mayor de Blasio issued emergency orders to deal with a safety and staffing crisis on Rikers Island, the City Department of Correction says there is a slow turnaround underway in city jails, the largest being Rikers Island. But not everyone agrees that improvements are actually taking place. On September 13th, elected officials, public defenders, and community advocates toured Rikers Island and sounded the alarm on what they called inhumane conditions. They included severe overcrowding, violence, and an extreme shortage of correction officers. Alice Fontier of the Neighborhood Defender Service was inside and says she has noticed some slight easing of the crisis. I'm not going to argue with the fact that it is improving, but that is a very, very low bar. Um, you know, through October, people were dying at the rate of at least one a month. The Department of Correction says that in the five most recent months this year, compared to the previous five-month period, use of force by staff declined by 11 percent, and attacks on correction officers and other staff dropped by 12 percent. There was, however, a 12 percent increase in slashings. Many correction officers many union many leader Benny Basio Jr. has serious that? questions. That's an absolute lie. You know, the commissioner and the mayor have been lying to the public about everything that's going on in Rikers Island. DOC Commissioner Vincent Schiraldi says nothing to celebrate yet, but so far some early indicators are that the violence use of force data is bending in the right direction as the population declines as we have fewer unstaffed posts and fewer triples. The triples he's referring to are three eight-hour shifts, a 24-hour tour. The union leader says the new mandatory 12-hour shifts, when doubled, are the same 24-hour tours. Look, we just got an emergency order by the mayor you know, from one day to the next, shifting us to 12 hour shifts. Never mind, we have single parents on this job, you know, now have to spend all these hours at work, working five days a week, 12 hours a day, 60 hours. Like, it's, it's ludicrous. Critics of the mayor say he ignored the problems for far too long because of his stated desire to shut down Rikers Island. Basio says at the minimum, the city is looking at, at at least another seven years before new neighborhood jails can be built. So that means the potential for problems will be around for a long time to come. That's the latest, Lori. Back to you. All right, Lisa, thank you.